Hey everyone, it was just a few weeks ago that we had BPL 12, but just around the corner next week, we've got BPL 13. Can't wait to get up there to Pine Rivers and celebrate another Bowls Premier League. I'm Clive Adams and joining me to do a preview, if you like, of what's to come next week is the defending champion coach in Wayne Turley, of course, the coach of the Tweed Ospreys. Uh, how are you, Tulls? Good, Clive. How are you going? Yeah, looking forward to it, mate. I can't wait because I can actually get to a BPL this time around. I'm, I'm going to be there. I can't wait. I know, and all the players and everyone else can't wait to get you there as well. You're, you're a big major part of the BPL. <laughs> hey, mate, uh, two of the last three have gone uh, the way of the Tweed Ospreys. Uh, you must be pinching yourself a bit because it's a tough tournament to win. What's the, what's the secret? Uh, it's just great coaching, I think. Yeah. <laughs> No, um, I think yeah, the secret BPL, as I think everyone's seen on TV, you do need that little bit of luck, but um, it's just all the players sort of being uh, sticking to a, uh, a formula um, and basically a strategy that's either going to work for you or not. And um, you're not going to win every game. So basically sticking to that formula and hopefully it works. Um, if you find it's really going bad, maybe you have to change. So uh, we were lucky enough uh, two years ago to win the um, our very first one with Kurt Brown, uh, Aaron Tees and Chloe, and then um, for Corey Wedlock to come in and, and uh, to win the one at Moama after a break through COVID was um, sensational. Yeah, absolutely. And look, tell us, uh, you joke about the coaching, but what impact can you have on the sidelines as a coach? I, I know you're a nervous watcher. Oh, I'm shocking. I'm terrible. Like, <laughs> get me out there to play a bowl to win a match, no problems. But on the sideline, I'm terrible. Up and down, like, yeah. Um, I think um, you just got to keep the players up. And then if you see any weaknesses, um, particularly in lengths or hands or some maybe some quick decisions on shot selection. Sometimes you just got to jump in, but those players, they're, well, um, they're world's best players, but sometimes it's just to give them some reassurance uh, how good they're going and stick into a game plan. And just take us back to BPL 12, because as you say, it was, you know, the first time we'd had an event, pretty much 12 months to, to uh, the previous BPL, actually. The first time the players had all been able to get back together and compete and uh, must have been a pretty special feeling for all the players, coaches, officials, everyone. It was absolutely brilliant. I'd get back to Moama and they were fantastic. Uh, to go through all those, um, you know, the, the lockdowns and things we've had to go through and Moama just looked after everyone so well. But the players, it was just like a, a real buzz around everyone. Even the volunteers, the spectators to say, Bowls was back. We're actually back at a live event, um, showcasing our great game all over the world for the live streaming and also through televised um, games. But it was, it was a real buzz to be around again. Mm. All right, let's take a look through the sides for BPL 13 because there has been a few changes and we've also got some teams that uh, I guess are, are becoming a bit more, uh, you know, they're fielding the same side over and over and we're, we see them evolving. So let's have a look through the teams and we'll start, we'll go in reverse order from BPL 12, shall we? So we'll start with the Murray Steamers who surprisingly finished eighth. So very easy to finish eighth and still have played very well, of course, in this tournament. And uh, they've got Ryan Bester, uh, everyone's favourite, uh, Michael Walker. I think he's everyone's favourite player, isn't he? <laughs> sure is. The old text is fantastic. And Natasha Van Eldick joins uh, the Murray Steamers this time around. Yeah, well, it's funny. They finished eighth um, after, but it's, we know how what it's like because we won the BPL in Pyrrhus. We come to Moama the next one and we finished eighth. Uh, but, but between uh, making the finals and finish eighth can come down to the last bowl. So, um, you can never write off the Murray Simmers. Ryan Best, Ryan Best, they're one of the world's best. And you've got Natasha back in now and, and Tex Walker, the crowd's favourite. Uh, you can never write them off, so look out for them. Of course, the coach, Kevin Anderson, um, is he a bit scary on the sidelines? He's got, he's got this clipboard, he's got the headbands, he's got the whistle, he's got the work. So I'm looking forward to see what he's bringing up to uh, BPL 13. <laughs> we love a bit of personality on the sidelines. We certainly do. Uh, the Melbourne Roys uh, finished seventh last year. Very set outfit here. Matthew Flapper, uh, Carla Krasanik and Aaron Wilson, coached by uh, JR, of course, JR Ewing. Yeah, JR, my last roomie. Uh, we were roomies together last one down in Moama. But yeah, world-class outfit again. Carla, uh, she's in fantastic form at the moment. And you can, the disco, what, how good is he? Aaron Wilson put on the show on, then you got big Matty Flapper winding up and bashing him down there. Yeah, big drives and jacks flying everywhere. So uh, we look forward to seeing them in action. Interesting that probably the two biggest drivers in the competition finished seventh and eighth last year. It'd be interesting to see if any, any tactics change. Um, the Brisbane Pirates, you know, there has been, a, has been a change to this team. So Jeremy Henry and Aaron Hewson remain from BPL 12, but Kelsey Cottrell steps back into the mix and we know what Kelsey can, can deliver at a BPL. Yeah, with Kelsey, she's a uh, Brisbane Pirates favourite. Um, she's been there. She's won it before with them. 
Uh, she's, yeah, she, I, can't, I think they can't wait to get her back. Uh, Kira Burke did a fantastic job down in Moama, so full credit to her. And Aaron Houston, he is un unbelievable form. He finished top skipper in the recent Premier League. And then he got the world's, one of the world's best, Jeremy Henry. Yeah, he's a crowd favourite. He'll make sure get that home crowd pumping. Michael Breen, the coach. And, of course, a shout-out to uh, Alex Marshall. We're used to seeing Alex in that Brisbane Pirates outfit. Still can't get across here from, uh, from England, but we, uh, we almost count down the days until we can see Alex back on our shores, don't we? I know he's watching because we got many messages from him uh, from Moama, our last BPL, and uh, I know he's watching from over there. And hopefully, we, we need him back. He's uh, he's he's such a crowd puller, and everyone loves to watch him play. The Sydney Lions, another one of our set our set teams, you know, with uh, Karen Murphy, of course, recently appointed as uh, the uh, Bowls Australia assistant Jackaroo's coach. So, uh, looking forward to what Karen brings to that role. I'm sure she can bring plenty. Uh, Aaron Sheriff and uh, and Ben Twist and and Glass hanging on to the coach's role there uh, for dear life. <laughs> yeah, dear life, all right. Watch out for Kazza there. She might just give him some tips now. So the, the old time is still sitting there. Uh, this side, what can you say? One of the most um, prolific side winners of BPL, Sydney Lions, Aaron Sheriff. When he's got that little twinkle in his eye, look out because <laughs> he's scary to watch. And then you've got Twisty and, and Kazza there. So, yeah, probably still one of the favourites to win it again. All right, that brings us to our finalists from last year. And in fourth place, it was the Perth Suns. Now, we have seen some more changes to the Perth Suns uh, outfit this time around. Of course, uh, Cody Packer and Christina Christic were due to return to the Suns side. But unfortunately, just with the border controls again, uh, the timing just wasn't quite right for them by a day or two, I think. But gee whiz, they've got some replacements in, uh, in these two champions that they've brought in. So Ray Pierce remains. Second in the MVP uh, in BPL 12, so had a fantastic tournament. And we see Dawn Heyman and Tristan Smallacombe come into the side, both Australian champion of champion singles winners just a few weeks ago. Peter Harris is the coach. Really exciting to see uh, the additions that the Perth Suns have made. Yeah, definitely. Like if you, you pick two of the best form players at the moment, Tristan and Dawn, um, and, and then on carpet as well. So we go up there on another carpet green. Um, and Ray Pierce, he played man, brilliant bowls down there at, um, in Moama. He was on fire and, uh, you know, got the coach there, Peter Harris, well experienced. But, yeah, look out for this side. The Dark Horses again, Perth Suns, they're always nipping at your heels. And um, as you know, Clive, in this format, you can never take any team for granted. Of course, they've brought in some important height in Tristan Smaller. Come here, a lot of height to that team. So, uh, well, yeah. I can't see uh, Ray doing too many high fives. I don't, he might get a step ladder out there for him to reach up to Tristan. <laughs> I know how that feels. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the Melbourne Pulse, of course, finished third in uh, BPL 12. And we see Gary Kelly, Barry Lester and Ellen Ryan once again lining up there with Mark Casey at the helm. Yeah, I, I actually, once again, probably one of the favourites. Um, they were so uh, consistent all the way through down at Moama, uh, BPL 12. I think they won uh, 10 or 11 games straight or nine games straight. So, uh, and just... Uh, to win that many games straight in this sort of format against the quality players, it was a brilliant effort. So you look out for them. Uh, once again, Gary Kelly, he loves enthusiasm. And Baz, we can't say too many more, more words about Baz. He's, he's all about and jumping around as well. So uh, I think Ellen's there just to calm him all down. She's a calming influence. You almost need to balance off the wins and losses a little bit at BPL, don't you? It's nice to win all those in a row, but it probably means you're due to lose one somewhere along the line. And it, it sort of got them in finals, didn't it? Yeah, it did. But I think they went to like four or five tiebreakers. So... To win those tiebreakers, they're the crunch ones. Um, yeah. They did and yeah, so uh, look out for them. Definitely the form team once again. All right, the Adelaide Pioneers, Wayne Rudiger, Scott Dalborn, of course, who was the BPL 12 MVP, and Caitlin Inch joins their team. Um, coached by John Henry Higgins from uh, from the Adelaide Bowling Club. And the Adelaide always bring it to a BPL, don't they? They do. Yeah, sure do. You've got four players like Scotty T. He's been around it before. He loves it. He played brilliant. He, he very well deserved the MVP down there, the award he won. So, uh, and Rudy, uh, Rudy, you know, he's, he's a current Jackaroo. He's one of the world's best. So, uh, yeah, look out for them. They're just the quiet achievers. They just stick to the game plan and just keep um, just sneaking through there. Yeah. So, uh, and then with Caitlin, she played brilliant bowls down there in Moama. So, a yeah, good addition to the team. And, of course, that brings us to your team of young guns, mate. Aaron Tees, uh, just a master on the big stage and loves the big moment. We've seen him play so many great bowls uh, at BPLs and, and, you know, big bowls when you need him. He comes up with it. Corey Wedlock, an absolute superstar. And, and Chloe Stewart, the absolute icing on the cake. What a great team there. 
coached by the great Wayne Turley. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a wonderful team you've got. Yeah, it is. Like um, the best thing about the team, I think they just get on so well. It's just so easy to be around um, on and off the green. It's a great pleasure to have them representing the Tweed Heads Ospreys. But uh, yeah, it's easy. He's a type of play in, in Corey, those plays. You just got to get them to the finals. Once they get them to the finals, they just grow another leg. They just love the, the finals atmosphere. And uh, we were struggling a little, a little bit through the match because a lot of people see that, okay, the TV matches, which is the night matches, but they missed the other 11 games we played during the day. And we went for a little, um, a, a bit of a bad patch and they were a bit down on the dumps. So we just sort of got together and, okay, created a game plan. This is what we're doing no matter what. And what we're going to do now is smile. So there's no more frowns, no more what, whatever happens, the results or any trips in the greens that we don't worry about. We just keep smiling and stick to a game plan. And once we got to the finals, they just showed what type of world-class players are. They're very coachable. And um, yeah, as I said, I just sat back like a nervous wreck, just clapping. <laughs> it does show where the coaching experience comes in though, mate, to bring them together and do that. Uh, it shows we're having the experience coach. And of course, you've coached at many BPLs. You've been in uh, to, to many of the events. You've been involved right from the start. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to, um, with you, Clive, the Perth Suns, uh, opportunity there, thanks to Bowls WA. So um, it's yourself, Jeremy and Brett Wilkie. we so close to making that final. Unfortunately, it's one of those Alex Marshall bombs that we were accustomed to. But um, yeah, them and the um, Murray Steamers, we've got runner-up got runner up there, but um, and with Tweed Heads now. So uh, it's honestly, it's so great to be a part of the BPL. It's uh, it's what Bowls, is, Bowls needs. It's a uh, it's a great tool for marketing our game. And um, yeah, I just love being, having the opportunity to be a part of it. All right. So you've listened to us talk about it and you'll be saying, well, how can I see it? How can I, how can I follow all the action? Well, the daytime action is all going to be live on the Bowls Australia Facebook page. So live coverage of each session. We always pick one match and we'll keep you up to date with all of the scores in the other matches as they evolve. Uh, timing's pretty good this time around. It's, it's, it's pretty consistent. 11 o'clock start each and every day. That's Australian Eastern Standard Time. So uh, don't get mixed up with that time difference. So Australian Eastern Standard Time, 11 a.m. And uh, I'll be there leading that coverage and I can't wait. So uh, we're looking forward to that. And then the nighttime sessions get underway each and every night from 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Now, if you're in Australia, you can watch it live on Fox Sports and KO. If you're in New Zealand, you can watch it live on Sky Sports. And if you're anywhere else in the world, you can watch it live streamed on the Bowls Australia Facebook page. So uh, if you don't already like the Bowls Australia Facebook page, get on there and like it and make sure your notifications are on and you get all the notes when, uh, when games go live. When is it? It starts on Tuesday next week. So uh, it goes right through to finals night on Friday. And finals night is always a special moment in the BPL, isn't it, Tells? Yeah, it sure is. Uh, Pine Rivers sure know how to put a uh, atmosphere on there. The, the club is jumping, uh, the crowd, the grandstand's full, the corporate areas are full. They have a charity luncheon during the day uh, leading into the finals. So uh, it's an unbelievable atmosphere. So if you get, ever get the opportunity to get there, definitely get, make, it, uh, make a date to get up to Pine Rivers and enjoy the BPL. And of course, if you are in the area, as Charles just said, if you are in the Brisbane area, then get to the BPL live. You, you will love the atmosphere and uh, love the experience. All the best for next week, Charles. Really appreciate you joining me and good luck. Thanks, Clive. Yeah, really excited. Um, can't wait. Uh, and most of all, to see you. Uh, ringside, Clive. <laughs> bring Clive back. Get the crowd pumping, Clive. We miss you. Club Pine Rivers is where it all happens next week from Tuesday. We'll catch you from there live.